Welcome back to Let's Play Spyro, Year of the Dragon Reignited. I'm Burning Dog Face, and we're here in Sergeant Bird's base. Where, uh... Well, we've cleared out most of the Rhinox, but we still need to find one of the Hummingbird soldiers, and what do you know? Hi, Sparks. There's still a cave we haven't looked into. Alright, I can't kill that thing. Bitchin'. I think that's a blowing face. It's weird. I also think I might have seen those in the last one, but I don't remember where. The last Spyro game, I mean. No, I can wait. Boy, they really didn't like you. Before I was captured, I recovered this egg from the enemy, sir. I wonder what you would have said if you were the first one I saved. Hi there, Roy. Dragons are allowed to wear clothes if they so desire. What are your orders, sir? Ah, there we go. Oh god, I can't turn. Uh. Ah, damn it. I thought I was actually going to miss that. We need to rescue the rest of the squad before we can launch a raid on the Sorceress's castle. Rescue five hummingbirds. I thought that was all of them. Reflection, I guess that would. Oh, that isn't a reflection. There's a. Oh, I see. It's just a very similar uh, architecture. It's the opening room. Yes, yes. I still hate that the windows look broken, but aren't. Fuck you, portal. gems, and I think that's it here. Yeah, 99%. So that could be a single pickup. Well, first things first, I should murder these guys and get my health back. There you go, Sparks! Mm. Nutritious. Actually, I do hear bugs are very, very high in protein. Gems, interesting. Okay, now that that's done, let's go see if our uh, friend will leave through the door. Just in case it doesn't count unless you see it happen. Or, you know, unless it happens while you're not looking. 
Win. Okay. Quick march, Spyro. We're off to the whirly gig. All systems checked out A-OK. -okay. Jump aboard. But I don't want to fight a boss right now. Just up on, Spyro. The sky shall be your domain. New worlds await you. I was afraid of that. The guy lives in a spooky swamp, and he's done it for so long, he doesn't realize you can speak without talking in haiku. <laughs> the whirly gig is ready to take you far away. Just jump aboard. Oops. No! See, that would have been a great opportunity to, uh... Have him end the thing with A. You can use the whirly gig whenever you're ready. It's not just, like, punctuation or something. It's, uh... Huh. I've just had a thought. I think I saw a cage in Enchanted Towers, and... Dude can fly. Of course, of my luck, it's Sheila. I was gonna check out the, uh... You know, Sunny Via. Or whatever. Ah, but fuck it. Yeah, when you end a thing with a question mark, it's actually a question, not just something you're saying to punctuate the sentence. It's essentially the same thing as saying, you know what I mean? a sentence with A, you're actually expecting the other person to respond, even if it's as simple as, yeah. I'm just saying. Particles. I guess I did see it from over there. I'm sorry. Gladys, how did you do that? Maybe she wanted me to wish her a happy birthday. Again. Or did I not do it the first time? Maybe I said something else. Oh. This is a very effective room. And the horse you rode in on. Yes, there's a cage, but it's all the way over there. Feck. Alright. I was curious about something. None of the levels I've been to had an exit at the beginning, so I was wondering about that portal way at the beginning of Sergeant Bird's base. Before I, after I do this, I'll just fuck off, but... I have to train the hummingbirds. Yes, yes, they must be in peak physical condition. Sir, the situation is this. Oh, goddammit, I reset that. Well, I already got that. It's just strange. 
Don't worry. I'll have the hummingbirds whipped into shape in no time. tally -ho, Spyro. I'm sure I'll see you around. Faster just using the menu. All right, so it is just an exit, which is curious because uh, if I hadn't, you know, accidentally discovered flight, I would have. And the, you know, since they didn't fucking tell me, I would have just assumed that I can't get out of that first room and left it. Oh yeah, there's even an exit here for this purpose. But no, it's just there for no reason. Um, yes, that's right. Are you a dragon? I can't believe your kind really exists. Would you like a chicken sandwich? They're very good. I mean, yeah, I wouldn't mind one. Oh, right. Oh, no, it's just a skateboard course here, not burning the trees. Yeah, 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 sorry, I was thinking. I already got the tree thing. I really thought he was about to disappear in purple, so... Just... let me catch my breath, and then I'll... Oh, yes, that's right, I really meant to talk to him first. Well, I can still come back and do that. Off you go. The bib is our nice touch. I think I mentioned that the first time. Oh, there's a portal up there. Interesting. I was pretty sure I had a comment about, you know, jumping elsewhere from the central tower. But I can't seem to find it. So instead, I'll just give a shout-out to Roshan, who had a very good question uh, when they asked, So, how have any of these societies in the Spyro games not just collapsed yet? I mean, seriously, these people willingly throw themselves into danger or run into blatantly ob obvious obstacles just to do some tasks. Uh, he's not wrong. It's even without all the casual murder as we saw in uh, Ripto's Rage. Hey, Spyro. There are Rhinox everywhere. Maybe I can find some peace and quiet at the top of this tower. Alas, I have lost my love. She's being guarded by evil Rhinox at the top of yonder tower. Can you rescue her for me? Wait a minute. I was just thinking, oh, I guess it's going to be like a female lion. And then it suddenly occurred to me, if you're a male lion, you should have a hell of a big beard, my dude. Where's your mane? All right, save the, uh, save the lover at the top of the tower. Sure, I can do that. Alas! I thought there might be a second line there. There was not. Gotta go down to get up, I guess. Hello, you're dead. Once again, hello, goodbye. Oh, I actually can. Not quite close enough. Oh. Oh, I missed one. Like 
exactly one. Hang on, why is there a spot? No, oh, no, it's part of the decor. Fine! I've already shot up the uh, collection rating. That was very surprising. Poor that guy. I'm pretty sure all you guys saw that coming. Off you go, apparently. That one was an X, not a B. They both have the same kick attack, so sometimes I alternate with these. Yeah. No. Oh no, that's just how I got there. <laughs> Yee. Right, yes. up to go. Oh, right, yes, I probably just can't see it because... yes. Usually leaps of faith aren't directly vertical, but you know, this is kind of a weird game. I feel like how high-pitched their voices are compared to the other Rhinox. So these are the trainees. There you are. What? Marco sent you here. I've got a restraining order against him. Oh no. Happy birthday, Lucy. Sorry it took me so long to get here. If you see Marco, please tell him I've moved out. I recall being convinced that was how, uh... See, that, that grass has tons of texture on it. I recall being convinced that that's how the, uh, the, the quest with Romeo and Juliet was going to end in, uh... The second game. The bird and the, uh, slug who fell in love. How the fuck do I get back? I guess there was a step there. I'll just go. Oh, hey. Off you go. Ah. Delicious. Ah, the joy of breaking things. Exactly one left. And it's over there. Ah! Shit. Where am I? There. I don't know how I meant to do that. Fuck. 
Oh, it's behind. Fuck's sake. There might even be an invisible wall keeping me from on top of that uh, wall there. One gem left. I am tempted to head off and, uh... What the? Was this back here? Okay, I thought I was absolutely certain it was going to be on the skateboard level. But excellent! That feels good. Yes, good. Oh, I've just recalled. Here it is, yes. Shut. That's what that noise is. <clears throat> Shut it to Shane Reeves, who uh, said that the Sand Castle name for you know that challenge uh, egg over there on uh, Seashell Shore made a whole lot more sense in the previous versions because the crates were actually cubes of sand, not uh, big wooden boxes. Interesting. I wonder why they would change that, but not change the name. I also find it interesting that I made it all the way to this game before I, uh... ...actually ran into anything that was, uh, definitively different. Other than, you know, kind of the physics stuff. I don't know, it, it just feels like they weren't... Com when I heard people say, oh, that was different before, it was never a complaint. I suppose I've also heard about the, uh, you know, the Sheila challenge being way harder, so maybe it evens out. That should not have worked, but I will allow it. Because it worked in my favor. Okay. Step inside, old chum, Sergeant James Bird. Okay. That's really funny. I mean, I guess I knew Bird was a name, but... Yeah, there's almost no time left, so I just want to take a peek. Ah, idle heads! Of course. I'm playing a game of hide-and-seek with my friends. If I can't find where they've hidden their heads, they won't let me join the Tiki Lodge. Help me put them back together and I'll make you an honorary member. Where... Where is their consciousness normally stored if you lost their heads and they're mad at you? Also, my train of thought was slightly derailed by realizing that's this fucking Toucan Sam circling around Toucan Sam in the background. Do they even still use that <laughs> mascot for Fruit Loops? Huh. Hello. Well, looks like there's quite a bit to do in here. Huh, another cracked wall. I got a comment about a cracked wall in, uh, the main Molten Crater level, but, uh, I didn't even notice one when I was playing through, so I guess I'm really just unobservant. I will refrain from the shout-out until I find it. Uh, but for now... I'm Burning Dogface, and I'll see you next time on Let's Play Spyro, Year of the Dragon Reignited. When we help these poor bastards get their heads back on, and, uh, clear this room out from what I assume are going to be hostile toucans. Later.